my recommendations on how to transition from a regular diet to start fasting or starting carnivore or how I train people to actually do it and lose weight. I do not recommend people to start on a dry fast diet or even fasting straight off the bat if you're eating a regular diet. If you're already eating a regular diet and you're all messed up because you've been eating a regular diet and you're extremely overweight and you're eating an extreme, a, a regular diet, going straight into fasting, going straight into dry fasting, going straight into anything is kind of silly. And you don't need it to get the results fast. If you see the results that I got for Mabel and for other people that I've done, it really is how you transition. You're gonna lose the weight anyways. You don't need to give yourself an excess amount of burden on your body because understand, when you see me that I just posted that I am able to do a three day dry fast, extended, how long have I been doing this? How long has my body been fat adapted? It's different than if you all of a sudden decided to, I've been lying on my couch, never eating potato chips all the time, and now I'm gonna go straight into a three day dry fast, you're most likely gonna have serious issues with it because first of all, when your body transitions from a regular diet to a, let's say ketonic diet, you're automatically shedding more water because of the lack of carbs in your body. So now you're adding a dry fast above that, that your body is not yet adapted to fat, to being in a state when your body switches from carbs to switching to eating a ketonic diet, most of the weight that first comes off is a lot of water weight. Your body is shedding a lot of water automatically. So the last thing you wanna do now is dry fast along with it if you're not adapted. So your body has to get to a certain level so you're losing a lot more electrolytes. Even if just from switching from a, a eating a regular diet with carbs to going ketonic or going into a keto diet or going to a carnivore diet. Whichever way, you're now switching and you're losing a lot more excess water. People tend to get headaches because now they need more electrolytes. Their body is not adjusted. It's going all over the place to start feeling bad. And you say, well, I gotta stop this because obviously I'm feeling bad. And it's just a transition. It takes, sometimes it takes six months to a year to, be, to become fat adapted where your body really does not really need any carbs to work. It takes a certain transition period. So during this transition period, the last thing you wanna do is add above that, especially in the beginning, I'm gonna go into drive, extended dry fast. Maybe you might do a dry fast for 12 hours, but going into an extended dry fast is crazy. Your body's gonna suffer, your kidneys are gonna suffer. First of all, I've never drank and I've never smoked. So my kidneys really, the, the function of my kidneys when I've checked them are perfect. Why? Because I've never taken excess of anything that my kidney is overloading with. So if you've been drinking all your life, you gotta watch out with dry fasting, especially if you're not fat adapted. <laughs> Why? Because you're adding more burden to everything that's happening. Understand, when you start going into a keto diet, you are overworking certain parts of your body because it has to transition over. That's, and that's a normal effect. So the last thing you wanna do or need is to go straight into a dry fast. For what? Look at Mabel, in three weeks I had her lost 17 pounds. She didn't do a dry fast. She didn't do any fasting. Because all you need to do is transition to eating different kind of food. <laughs> so when I start people off in, a, in, in this to go to carnivore, to go, I have them eat all the time, the entire day. And my method is not caloric restriction to anybody. My method in the beginning is, I'm stuffing you with food the entire day. You wake up, you're eating steak and eggs. Two hours later, you're eating steak and eggs. Three hours, four or five, you're eating steak and eggs. I want the, the, the people that I train, in the first three or four weeks, they're eating to the point where they tell me I cannot eat. Even if they're spreading the food out throughout the day, I want them at the end of the day to feel like they're vomiting. Like they just cannot handle the amount of food I'm giving them. Any kind of urge, you take more steak and eggs. <laughs> Simple as that. Any, but no carb, you can only do this if you, there's no carbs going in. There's only more steak and more eggs or more meat, more chicken, more eggs, more fat, animal fat going inside you. The next day, the same thing. The next, eventually in three or four weeks, they've eaten more than they've ever eaten and they've lost like 10 or 15 pounds and they're amazed by it.
they're always amazed by it. They always go, what happened? I've, I've eaten much more, and in fact, I can't stand food right now. I, I, you're making me eat so much, I don't wanna eat. Well, now, after the three or four weeks, I could start cutting down that window. Why? Now they've had three or four weeks where they've been stuffed. In reality, they're stuffed, and they haven't had a carb. So their body is actually starting to work a little better in the sense of, of absence of carbs. Any kind of urge they got, they got more steak and eggs. So now they, any kind of urge, the problem is with carbs, it's hard to fast sometimes because you're getting so many urges. Well, if I stick more steak and eggs in you, trust me, eventually you get bloated with it. You, you, it, it said, it's so filling that you simply don't want to eat. So after three or four weeks, now I start cutting down that window where I still feed you a lot, but you're getting it in a three or four hour window. Eventually after two weeks, now you're able to start eating enough that you could handle doing OMAD. It's a simple start. Just go from eating a lot of steak and eggs, chicken, whatever, the entire day, to then after three or four weeks, you were able to cut that window down. You didn't have to do any dry fast, you didn't have to do nothing, but now you're starting to do, you're starting to be able to adapt your body to fast, to fast for a longer period, which is very helpful. Uh, I didn't start doing dry fast until this year in reality. And I really now maybe dry fast most of the time, 20 hours a day. I only eat in a certain window. I only have liquids in a certain window. In reality, I've always had liquids very little throughout the day in, in my life, so I'm used to that. But I wouldn't recommend anybody, need, you don't need to start dry fasting in the beginning. You're gonna get a lot just from eating uh, no carbs or very little carbs and transitioning over. Even fasting in the beginning is kind of, to me, detrimental because a lot of people fall off. That's why I started with three or four weeks of eating the entire day, but it has to be with no carbs. It has to be meat, meat, more meat and more eggs, more meat and more eggs the entire day. That makes it very simple after three or four weeks to then start fasting because your body now is more adapted. It's very simple. So. Then after a year or so, you might start trying. You might be able to start doing extended dry fast. Why? Because your body is no longer working with carbs. Now, this is only if you really are a non-carb eater. Don't tell me if you're eating rice and you're still eating whatever, and you're still getting a lot of carbs, it becomes harder to dry fast for extended periods of time because your body, the, 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 the carbs in and of itself makes you then shed more water from the, having the, the glycogen stores drop completely because you're still not in a, in a sense, once you're fat adapted, your body works different, the new, the, even the electrolyte balance that you require, in the beginning of, of, of turning into a keto diet, people need salt, they need to do that uh, uh, snake diet or whatever where you put that, because you start feeling bad because you're like, once you've been at this for like two years, you notice you no longer need any extra salt, you don't know any, any electrolyte, you don't, you don't. I, it doesn't matter, you don't because your body's adapted to working in a certain way. So now, when you do an extended dry fast, you're not affected by it the same way somebody else would be. So that's why, just because you see, if I put that I do it, it's because I'm able to do it now. It isn't that I went from eating a regular diet and I'm gonna go straight into doing three days of dry fast. That's stupid. <laughs> it's silly. You have to know, first of all, you have to know your health condition. Uh, how healthy are you? <laughs> you know? and, and even if you're healthy, why would you go straight, if you're going, if you're being in a standard diet, you really wanna start then switching over to ketonic and then over to carnivore and then let your body adapt for around six months. You could still do like the regular 12 hour fasting of a uh, dry fasting that most people could do, but even in the beginning it's not needed. Just, just my tips on learning how to fast and learning how to then adapt to dry fast with it and be healthy with it. Because a lot of people I see here are going straight into dry fasting and they haven't even fasted. They haven't even given up carbs. They haven't, even, they haven't really done anything to build their body to do this right and then they're only really looking for problems and then they're gonna drain, blame dry fasting. So that, that's the whole thing. 
people do a lot of stupid stuff and then they blame the stuff and in reality was that listen your body has never been healthy enough to do this because you've been sticking the wrong foods in your mouth all your life and now you want to go straight into it no it's not going to happen your body's going to hurt you you have to already be healthy to do it not messed up and then do it because your body's not going to work that way and it wasn't that you did it it was that you are unhealthy <laughs> you've been sticking twinkies in your mouth your whole life and and lying on the couch and think well i'm going to do a drive fast Oh, you see, he didn't drink water, he died. <laughs> well, no, he was unhealthy <laughs> to begin with. Understand, a healthy body should be able to do it with no problems, with no serious issues, up to a certain limit. Don't expect that you're gonna go seven grade dry fasting and maybe not, you know. Let's, let's be realistic here. I will push it at the most of three days. Then after that, start, if you're still fasting, like I'm gonna be doing, then start t taking your water during the four hours and, and do a regular fasting from there. There's no, there's no need, especially, I'm not looking for this for a weight loss, me, especially, I, I, I don't need it for any extra weight loss. It does, surprisingly enough, I was having major, I've been lifting very heavy lately because I've been testing some stuff. So I was having very, a lot of pain issues in my joints and my knees because I've been lifting very heavy because I'm testing stuff that I'm not showing on video. But, Incredibly enough, something happened today, this morning, by the time I woke up this morning, which is the third day of the dry fast, literally all joint pain was gone from my body. I don't know why, I don't know if it's related to that. I cannot tell you that it is or not, but just from my observance, for some reason, my joints have zero pain today, zero, which I don't know if it's an effect even of less inflammation in the body because of it. I don't know, I, I, I really can't say but it's just funny because I've been dealing with it now for like two months that I've been he testing this heavy, heavy tension and I haven't been posting a lot. So it's kind of weird in a, in a sense. I, I, I didn't know that I could, again, I'm not saying that it is because of it, but it's just funny that it happens to be just around the second or third day of the drive. I started noticing that by the second day I had less, but this morning I had zero, like zero, zero issues anywhere. And like, wow. That feels great, <laughs> I guess. So I'm gonna continue to fast now until Saturday, but I might actually push it until Monday. But it, the rest of the fasting will be with water uh, at least four hours out of the day uh, and Fortigen for the rest of the ex extended fast.